Hi, my name is John Mooney and I'm the educator here at Windsor Historical Society. Right now I'm standing on Windsor's historic Palisado Green, located next to our historical society. Behind me is the Founders of Windsor Monument, which is dedicated to the lives of the people who originally founded this area of Windsor, who came here in the year 1635 after originally arriving in Massachusetts Bay Colony in 1630. They're known as the Dorchester Settlers because they came from Dorchester, Massachusetts. On the monument behind me, you can see an image of the ship that they took from England to Dorchester, the Mary and John. The monument was placed here because it was the location of the first meeting house set up by their congregation. This area of Windsor, around the Palisado Green, was the main commercial heart of the town from the 1630s all the way until the 1840s when the railway came through and the commercial activity in town moved further south to the Broad Street Green where the train station was. Right now I'm standing in front of North Meadow Road which runs alongside the Palisado Green and in front of Windsor Historical Society. There's not much along this road these days. It's a dead end that opens up into one of the meadows that run alongside the Connecticut River. But in Windsor's earliest centuries, this was part of the main thoroughfare that connected Hartford, Connecticut to Springfield, Massachusetts. The many travelers that used this road in those days would have had to cross the Farmington River just south of here, where there was no bridge back then. Instead, you'd have to pay a ferryman a small fee to take you and anyone with you across. You'd have to pay a little more if you had a horse or cart with you. Today, it's a lot easier. The Palisado Avenue exists, and there's a modern bridge to ferry cars and trucks across. I hope by watching this video, you've learned a little bit more about the Palisado Green and its importance as the historic commercial center of Windsor. Thanks for watching.